Hey guys, I want to give you some information about the call that we're going on. I didn't really get a chance to talk. I was kind of in the zone, so we were up in Polito for a uh, different call. And then we got called down to uh, Sandy Shores for shots fired at the Yellow Jack. So, responding down there on the highway, and you'll see here in a moment uh, this black truck that we're going to pass once we get on Joshua. Uh, just keep that in the back of your mind because it'll come back later. So, with that said, enjoy the episode. Yankee 24, be advised, Foxtrot 118 is going to try to make contact by uh, PA. Exit 56, we're on scene. Hey, can you uh, watch them? I'm going to go see if uh, this guy knows if the guy left or not. Okay. Oh, he fleed? Yeah, okay, yeah. we're still going to close the building though, just in case. Okay, yeah. He, he left in like a. Like like a tr some sort of truck. I couldn't see it before I got out, but it he was red? in a truck. Also be uh, no, well. no, it was not red. I, I don't know what color it was uh, exactly, but he was wearing some sort of like construction suit. The, uh, area. He had like a toolbox in the back. Ten four. It was like it was like a bulkier truck, so it was kind of like the size of that police truck. Over there. Was it like dark in color? It looked black. It w it definitely wasn't like white or anything. Okay, did you notice any like underglow or anything like that? Any lights on the bottom? Uh, I think I seen a little bit of something. It was like a lighter Step color. Four. Okay. Alright, thank you sir. One out of twelve, um... <clears throat> he just, it, it scared me. He shot response, my car, he shot clear. at the building. And it, I will admit, I drank a little bit and I might have said something that upset him. Frank 118, yeah, we're not getting any response. He, he just started shooting. Received. Like, he had no we'll mercy charge, for anyone uh, around. Okay, if you don't mind just uh, waiting over there, is that your car, the red one? Yes, sir. Okay, if you don't mind just waiting over there until we uh, have the scene secured and we can come get a statement from you. Uh, if right. you don't mind just hanging out, just yep. so we can make sure you're safe. Alright. Yes, sir. Blaine County Sheriff's Office, Sonora Valley Police Department, if you're inside the building, sound off. We got the whole building surrounded, so if you're in there, just keeping quiet. It's not going to help you, man. All right? We got this whole building. Next over to six. Do we have units in the back? Negative. I don't think so. You guys want to go to the back? We'll give you some time. 10-4. We'll head back there now. Received. Would you like me to uh, take out my pistol just because it's a high danger? Or would you just have to sit for now? Yeah, definitely. Pistol ready. Um, this garage door opens, and then I think the door up there might open. Now forward position. Gotcha. 10, 4, 3, 2, 1. Begin clearing. Yeah, just get some cover back here just in case you want to keep an eye on that door too back there i don't know if it opens up those stairs or not all right 56 uh, advise whenever you're coming out the garage 10 we're coming up to the uh, door where the bathroom and the back rooms are we're at okay. the uh, pool table <clears throat> ready hey firm Watch the bathroom. We're clear. Blue, blue. <clears throat> All right, we're coming in. One out of twelve. We're gonna be clear on our end. All right. Um. Okay. So yeah, the caller's still outside. I just advise him to stay by his car until we clear it, and uh, we can get a statement from him. Most definitely. I'm gonna see if there's any cameras here at the Yellow Jack. We'll we'll take a look. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna go talk to him. I believe right at least on the inside there are, but I could be wrong. 
Yeah, go ahead and check for that to see if there are cameras, and if there are, then uh, go ahead and start running some CCTV results to see what we can find. All right, we'll do. Thank you, sir. All right. Harold, sir, I'm gonna task you with the. Uh... All right, let's go talk to him and see. Just have him fill out a statement at least. Hey, uh, they had me run his name. Um, he's he's uh he's coming back clear. Just just some few few prior incidents, but uh, three. nothing that would throw a red flag on this incident here. Okay. Drive back home. All right. Good. Or sorry, are you at <clears> just um <throat> let us yeah. just let us know, okay? Temple, did you drive back oh, home? Okay, yeah, I'll uh sure thing. I don't have one. Yeah, I outran his name. He's coming back, yeah, uh, he's coming back clear. He's got a garage. few priors, but nothing here that would, uh, no. cause any red flags. So, I'll hand his ID back to you. Awesome. Alright, can you hand, hand the ID to your members, please? Sorry, what was that? Yep, there you go. Mr. Ross, here's your ID. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty. All right, so we crashed there, unfortunately, but uh, questioned him. Didn't sound like uh, anything. That's no driving condition. Yeah, we'd probably also have to use it for investigative purposes if you if you're more than okay with that. Uh, yeah, yeah. As long as this guy's caught and thrown behind bars, and I'm more than happy. Appreciate that, man. Do you know now the weapon that he was using? Was it a handgun or an assault uh, rifle? Handgun, handgun. A handgun. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, Chief, I have everything um, I need so far. Um, was not able to get a, a name, but just uh, enough to identify him if we end up coming across him. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, Thank you. Thank I, you uh, for your cooperation, Mr. Ross. Now, if there's anything else we can do, just um, definitely let us know, please. Did uh, you get a quick? Just, as long as he's caught. Is, if he's caught, then I don't need anything. Did you, uh, I'm sorry, did you ask him what he's wearing to? Yep, uh, construction clothes. Okay. Um, and it looks like he had tools in, um, behind his vehicle. And real quick, sir, um, uh, before, um, we cleared the building, I know we talked a little bit, but you said it was a, uh, kind of dark, probably black in color, like wide. Yeah. Truck. Black, brown, gray, something, something in that range. Okay, and then it also possibly had some like underglow on it, like a lighter color. You said. Possibly, I, I don't know for a hundred percent. Okay, and uh, what direction did it take off in? Uh, I, I, th it came out, and I don't r exactly remember which way. So I, all I knew was I need to get a hold of the cops, and that's what I did. So. All right. Well, you definitely did the right thing. I'm um, just saying it because whenever we were responding, um, we saw a truck similar to that it was like a wide um uh ford truck uh, black in color too. and it had that light underglow so i might be uh, able to review my dash cam see if i can get a plate off of it but um yeah so just wanted to verify that yeah. is that it down there uh yep, yep. yes that, that that's, that's it all that's right the car. That's let's the go car. what i'm told we may have spotted the truck that the rp is talking about uh show us catching up to it I'm running with you. I believe you turned right on Smoke Tree. Receive. Thank you, Chief. I'm going to be riding with uh, Foxtrot 118. 10-4, sir, I'll need to make sure you also get a vehicle of your own as well. I can, uh, as much as I don't mind the collaboration, uh, it's a policy where we do not have, uh, SUPD riding in BCF so cars unless RA is assigned. Understood. Damn it, did you see it? I did not. Last I saw him was, uh, when he ran away there, like, coming towards this way. Frank 118, direct to one Adam Pope. Uh. Go. Is it okay if I detach real quick to um, drop him off at the sheriff's office? That is fine. Sample. The yeah, actually 56, uh, unknown of the location. He might have turned there on Smoke Tree, but he also might have not. I believe I saw him turn, but. Sorry about that, sir. 
extra 54 one number 12. Uh, that is my old unit number, but... <laughs> one Adam 12. Good, go ahead. Uh, I am 10-8. Oh boy. Is it 10 the man? 10-4. 10 10-4. 10-4, if you're available, um, you want to head up to 4006, uh, up the mountain to assist, uh, <laughs> uh, Officer, uh, 1924. 10-4, I'll be around. Exit 36 break, gonna have that truck taken off. Um, we're gonna be south Sonora Road heading towards the city, 4004. Just run around. Gonna be heading back north towards 68. North Sonora Road towards 68, 4008 passing the um, passing the racetrack. Yeah, if you can take calls, just use X-ray 56 as our call sign. Got it. X-ray 56, where we at? Northwest Sonora Road, near post of 4016. We are now going to be on Joshua Road, on nearest post of 4014, northbound, heading towards Stem City currently. be remaining straight, we're going to be uh, taking Joshua Road, we're going to be heading eastbound towards Sandy. Uh, nearest postal 3031. Still going to be heading eastbound, Joshua Road, postal 3027. We are entering Sandy Shores, just passing by the Ace Looker currently. We're not losing this guy. Especially in that piece of shit. Last 10 20. Be advised, I decent out of car. Oh, for course. Make sure I fit six hands. Over. Now, four, we're gonna be going. Stand by. We'll be heading north, east Joshua, 3010 towards the freeway. Turned off onto the dirt road, he's driving on the mountains right now, he just flipped the truck. 2048 on the dirt road off of Joshua. Get your hands up! It's gonna be stopped here. 2048 Dirt Road off Joshua. Hands up. Get those hands up. Driver, hands now. We can get additional units started out here. You said post to 2048. And 4 on the dirt road off of Joshua. Driver, show me your hands. Do it now. Hands up. <laughs> He's going to be tased. Got one in custody. 2048. What are you doing? Hello? Do you speak? Ah! Uh. Crown Vic just passed. Someone's trying to kill me. Someone's trying to kill me. Okay, so why? I don't even want to know. Someone's trying to kill second. me. Frank 118, on scene. Someone's gonna kill me. Someone's gonna kill me. Someone's gonna kill me.
got him. Yeah, he, uh, I don't know, he wasn't listening at first. He was just sitting in the driver's seat. Um, then he hopped out, and then he ran around the truck to the passenger side. Mm -hmm. I probably did something to glove box or whatever, and then I, he had the door still open. I tased him right out, and he fell on the ground. So, uh, Which was I'm unnecessary. Gonna, I'm going to let step over here real quick. <clears throat> that way he doesn't hear us and starts yeah. causing <laughs> issues. Um, so what I'm going to do, if that's okay with you, I'm going to go ahead and search his vehicle. Um, see if uh, we find anything. After searching it, then I'll go ahead and impound it. Um, then I think you'll be good to go to take him to um, county jail. Yep, that'll be great. Um, or at yeah, this case, I think federal. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get this thing searched and uh, get him out. Did, did you find anything on him? Uh, yeah, he had a gun and a jury can on him. Oh, my God. So, I don't know. Might have something else in the car. He's had it for a while. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and check the vehicle now. All right. I'm going to see what his story is. Did, did you read him his rights yet? No, I'm going to do that right now. Okay, I want to ask him a question before him. Okay. Ah, uh, to hell with you. All right, sir. So, listen up. No, someone's trying to kill me, officer. You have to listen. You have to hear me out. Okay, so you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer. Have him present with you while you're being questioned. You can afford to hire a lawyer. You'll have one to appointed to represent you before any questioning. If you wish, you can decide at any time to exercise his rights, not make any statements, or answer any of my questions. Do you understand his rights as I have explained them to you? Hey, stop. Quit spitting, Just sir. Spitting on the glass back there. That's fine. All right, These I have windows a are dirty. <clears throat> Do you understand right, the rights? sir, I got... Yes or no? What? Do you understand your rights? Yeah, I guess. Okay, having those rights in mind, do you wish to answer our questions? Sure, I mean, I got no choice at this point, do I? Alright, Steppy's got some man questions for you. Uh, nice <clears> flashlight <throat> you're holding, buddy. I see you're holding it the right way. Sure. Alright, sir, I have a quick question before um, a deputy over here starts asking you questions. Is there anything inside the vehicle um, that you should not have that I could find, possibly find? Yeah, you're gonna have to find out for yourself. Hey. <laughs> Alright, you sure? I'm just... uh, I mean, what happens if I'm honest with you? Well, we'll see about that. I can't make any promises or so. I just want to make sure if, um, I would just want to know if you're going to be able to cooperate with us. Yeah, I mean, I guess. Go search it, man. Alrighty, anything that I should know before I search it? Uh, I mean, no. Hello, officers. Alrighty, thank you, sir. That's the guy! Can I help you? Oh, you whoa. Him? Sir, go ahead and step over here, please. That's my buddy. That's my buddy. He's cool, man. He won't. He don't bite. This. All right. So I'm gonna ask you some questions here. So, um. All right. So where were you? Were you ever at the Yellow Jack approximately 30, 40 minutes ago now? Can you Frank hear me? 118 to dispatch. Be advised that we're going to be at East Joshua Road 2048. Can you hear me, sir? Um, there, there, now I can hear you. What's up? Okay. Um, so about 30, 40 minutes ago, where were you with the truck? Came towards us. Yeah, just taking it for a joy ride, you know. Okay. Were you ever at the Yellow Jack? Uh, not for any particular reason. No. Not for any particular reason. So, were you there for no reason? No, I, I wasn't there. No? Okay. So, I see the firearm that you have on you. Is that your firearm? <coughs> I bought it. Okay, what's your name? Uh, you know my name, man. You've caught me, uh, like, two times already, man. Come on. Matthew, again? Yeah. Yeah, we keep running into you somehow. Yeah, some, one of these days I'm gonna move out of the state, man, so I can stop dealing with the, with the ops, you know, the feds, my ops. Well, maybe if you like just... I I got a lot of ops out here, you know, man? I mean, the state's a dangerous place. Well, it doesn't seem like crime is really your cup of tea, so I might recommend trying to find a new hobby profession there, because it's not really working Yeah, maybe if my stupid truck didn't flip over, I would have gotten away. I don't think so. I was right on you for quite a while, so... Yeah, um, well, I mean, I almost lost you, but my stupid truck flipped over, man. Yeah, it, you, I mean, you almost did. It hurt me. I mean, luckily for me, I was wearing my seatbelt, so I didn't, like, fall out, but, you know... 
Yeah, that's good. I, I will give you that. I Because I was caught back there making that left on Joshua, and I didn't know if he continued straight or not. And then I looked over, and I saw you trying to do some weird shit on the mountain. So. Nah, I was, I was just trying to do some stream sport, motorsports, you know, motorsports. Yeah, sure. All right. Um, okay, so yeah, weren't at the yellow jack then, so... Yeah, but I, I really hurt my head when I crashed, and I, I, I might need an ambulance to check me out. Okay, well, we'll we'll get him in route to, uh, to come check you out then. I, I, um, that, okay. that flip really hit my head hard on the, on the roof, you know? Yeah, I bet it did. And the steering wheel. Okay, so, um, with your firearm then... Um, the main reason I'm asking all these questions here is uh, we received a call at the Yellow Jack of a vehicle matching your description and person coming back to your exact what you, description. What do you mean, my description? Give me some insight they on that. They described your vehicle, a dark, wide-body uh, Ford truck with light underglow, which matches your description. There's plenty, of, there's plenty of trucks like that out there, man. No, there's not. There's really not. Okay, but like... Don't incriminate me on the weapon. I bought it with my 1500. Well, I'm just asking. So, have you shot the weapon yet? Uh, I mean, I, I might have. Okay, where where was that at? Your deputy. Uh, I mean, I don't want to get more those specifics. I don't want to incriminate myself. Well, it was it's just, just out better of to be range, honest you know? with me right now. So, it was out of shooting range. Hey, hey, deputy. My yeah. Bad. Oh, stand over here for me, real quick. Alright, sir. So the individual that I was talking with, um, his name is Thomas Ross. He's the individual I spoke with back at um, Yellowjack. He's identified the suspect that's right by in in your vehicle um, as the one individual that was shooting at him. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what we needed. So, all right. Um, well, he's got he has a firearm. The vehicle's matching to a T. He's matching the description. They're able to ID. So. Really, we have a pretty solid case right now, so... Eric, do you um, want me to let them go? Uh, yeah, they are good. Did you have them fill out a statement at the Yellow Jack by chance? Um, I... I questioned, um, Mr. Ross, and I took his statement. Um, but yeah. Okay. And right. I'm gonna well, take then... his... Yeah, I'm gonna write down as well that, you know, he was able to identify the individual in your okay. vehicle. Yeah, that'll be good. And then if you just want to do an instant report on that for the whole thing, and then just forward me the number for that and then I'll attach it to my arrest report just so we have that. Sure thing. Sure thing. Perfect. Let me get them going. Let me take care of the vehicle and I'll go ahead and um, do that for you, sir. Um, right. Can you remind me um, your last name, sir? Uh, Lamb. Deputy Lamb. <clears throat> Deputy Lamb. And your ID? Um, call sign? Uh, X-ray 56. X-ray 56. Alright, thank you, Corporal. Yep. All right, man, so here's the deal. Um, whether or not you want to be honest with me or whatever, um, those are the callers that called initially hey, about the scene. Hey, they're gonna steal and... my truck. No, they, they're they not. They said they're gonna kill me and they're gonna steal it and all this stuff. When when did that happen? When, at the, uh, all right, man, you got me. At the Yellow Jack, man, he said something, man. He, he said, we, we, were, we were drinking, man, and, and he, he said something about my girlfriend. I was like, what the hell did you say about her? And he's like, nothing, man. Let's just keep drinking. I'm like, nah, man. You said something, man. That that's not cool. And then he said something again. I'm like, oh hell no. Nah. You really crossed the line. And I I may have vandalized his car. And then he said, and then he said he's gonna get a friend and follow me until I stop. And then they're gonna ambush me, kill me, and steal my truck. And there's the friend right there. Incriminate them. Okay. So how? Whenever you said you vandalized his car, how did you do that? I mean, uh, did the shell case not say enough? Hey, okay, what's yeah. going on? Why are they over here? We're looking at him. All right, so is Mr. Ross, is that him? It's kind of hard to see, but it looks like him. Hey, put your face All right. down. All right, sir. All right, both of you, let's go. Fucking asshole. Back to me. <laughs> All right. Okay, so um, you said you vandalized. So how did you vandalize the vehicle? I mean, were there not shell cases on the ground to prove enough? I just I want to know what's going on. You need to let me know. I, I, I shot it, so man. far, I, so I shot the right. damn thing, man. I had what other choice do I have with a weapon, man? Well, I mean, you don't need to do it in the first place, but I could have shot him. He's lucky he ain't dead. 
Well, that may be true, but at the same time, you know, it doesn't make it right. Okay, but like, if they're gonna come after me like that, they might as well, I might as well have shot them back there. It would have benefited me. <laughs> well, I don't think so. You'd be getting a murder charge instead of, uh, uh what you have right well, now. I, so. I mean, at least I ain't got ops on me, man. Alright. Alright, so don't do you have anything Don't let them in the get corner? away! They're trying to kill me! I don't think they're, they're trying to They're gonna track me down! Me. All right, so do you have anything in the truck that we should be concerned about? Which, wouldn't you like to know? I would, that's why I'm asking. Excuse me, Corporal. It's locked, sir. Yeah. Do you have the keys of the vehicle? It's uh, currently um, locked. You got the keys on it's you? In, it, it's in my pocket. All right, well, let's go and unlock that. Uh, let, let me let me reach. Let me reach into my bucket here. Uh, uh. All right, it's unlocked. All, All right. right, thank you, sir. One out of twelve will be uh, ten six for paperwork. It should be unlocked. Maybe not. <laughs> All right, see then. Oh, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. What are we gonna do with you? What are they gonna do with me? It's all right, man. You won't hear you won't hear from me for a while after this incident. I promise, cause I got ops now, man. I got ops. <laughs> this ain't cool. I don't know where to go, man. I got ops. I'm in murky water, man. You know. Well, yeah, it sounds like you you kind of got there on your own here, doing all this stuff. Well, I mean. Me and him were good friends until he wants to say some dumb shit, you know? Yeah, alright, so... Whose firearm is this now? You said you bought it, but it's not registered to I, I bought it, but I didn't Frick register it. I just bought it for a quickie. <laughs> Why didn't you register like, I, I didn't think I was allowed to, but I still bought it. Well, yeah, it looks like you're a felon, I think, so... No, no, all misdemeanors, all misdemeanors, all misdemeanors. I didn't know the... Yeah, um, armed robbery is a felony. You were charged with armed robbery a, on... Uh, that's a... That's a... Mystery. Today. Um, today? Yeah, earlier today. It looks like you got charged right. with armed robbery. I was so not charged with armed robbery like today. Or no, not like, today. In, in all honesty, it was so. a couple days ago. Yeah, a couple days ago. Extra 54, I would be code 4 1 Anything in the car? Nope. There's, there's uh, a... Uh, truck is clear. I'm going to impound it now. All right, I'm gonna get you. Might have missed the uh, you might have missed the uh, nine millimeter tracers in there. Okay. Let me double check. Um, but I looked around, didn't see anything. Oh, okay, then maybe not. Maybe I took it out. I want my gun back. No, well, you're not gonna get it back. You won't. You won't. You're not gonna hear from me after, after this tonight. I, I'm moving out of the damn city. I might come back eventually. All right, we're clear. Have a good one. All right, you too, man. As of now, I got too many ops Next to stay on my. Sub, I gotta stay on my toes. On to Sandy PD. All right, pick your favorite cell. Should be familiar with them by now. Ah, uh, one's the biggest. Yeah, this one looks pretty nice. All right, go hop on in. <clears throat> All right, you can come up here, and face away, and I'll take those cuffs off for you. Alright, so I'm gonna have medical come down and just check you out um, before we get you transported, okay? I want to hit my head with that fire extinguisher. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Alright, just hang out for a sec. <laughs> Extra 56, can we get a uh, county medical to come down to the uh, cells to check out my subject before he gets transported? Okay, so medical is uh, off duty, so... Okay, okay, so we have everything here, so he's going to be charged. Um, so it'll be 900 because the max is 900 seconds. And then if he pays his fines, um, which would be 450. So um, his fines are going to be $2,000 for the um, illegal weapon. 
Criminal possession of a legal weapon. No. Which one was it? Oh, evading. Yes, evading. Got a new call coming out at the uh, Rebel radio station. Evading a peace officer and driving on suspended is both a thousand dollar fine. So. And available. I'll show responding to that. Extra 54. I will uh, get to that. 21 request, sir. Extra 54. You can. Uh, 1022. The 21. We will be 76. The same call. So we're going to uh, just let him know the charges on that and see if he wants to pay his fines. All right. So. I have your charges here. Um, so you're going to be charged with criminal possession of legal weapons since you are a felon. Weapons discharge violation. Wait, wait. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me stop you there. Uh, illegal weapons, but I bought it. Well, you, you can't possess it. I don't know how you bought it. The you're gun a felon. store. Well, you're oh, a felon, no. so you Aren't shouldn't be able to buy it. Let me buy it. Well, then I guess they need to work on their policies, but you're still not able to possess it. And uh, since you're a felon and you also didn't register it because you're a felon, I would assume. So that is the issue. And that's why it is criminal possession. All right. So criminal possession, illegal weapon, weapons discharge, violation, evading a peace officer and driving on a suspended because we suspended your license earlier. All right. That's not necessary. So listen up. You do have uh, the option to pay um, uh, two of the charges in fines, and you'll get your sentence cut in half. So if you want to do that, it'll be $2,000. If you have $2,000 on you right now and are able to do that, let me know. I have more than that. It's just in my bank. I'd have to go to an ATM, you know? Okay, so how much? you don't have any uh, nah, how much I don't cash? got any on me right now. I got a negative 100 on me. Okay. Um, well, I don't think you'll be able to pay it with that, um, I mean, unless, unless you it'll... just taxi me over to an ATM. Well, we're not going to do that, but I, it, unless it might go negative and then later you can just transfer it back into there. I'm not sure, though. One nine, gonna be on uh, I think I'll just take the sentence, man. How long, right. how long is my sentence, bro? <laughs> Your sentence will be 900 seconds, which is the max, so if you paid, then it'll be... Cut in half to four. Oh shit, uh, so. 900 motherfucking seconds, bro. Yep. Well, how long is that? I don't uh, know. I, I, I failed math, but I don't know. Don't ask me, man. Could be like 10 minutes, could be 80 years, I don't know. It could be. Alright, so that's all I we got. got. So, um, we can take care of that. Medical, um, should have been, should have came down and treated you. If not, they'll, they'll meet you at the jail. Um. No one, no one came down here. All right, well, I told them to, but it doesn't seem like they're they're on, so Buttles. they'll meet you there at the jail, all right? All I right, I have so... a concussion so I can sue everyone. Okay, well, hopefully you uh, try and find a better profession, because oh. clearly life of crime is not working for you. We arrested you three times today, so would well, recommend it, something else. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to, like, I, my cousin's going to hook me up outside the state, you know? All right. All right, well, you, I'll be uh, out of your guys' hair pretty soon, man. All right, well, best of luck to you. Yeah, whatever. 31. Let me just Jill, this wow. 30, 31. Uh, oh, no. 100. Okay.